listen. Listen. You got to keep watching the video to understand, but I couldn't wait. Welcome back to the channel, guys. So, I want you guys to follow me every step of the way. Help support this stuff for CF Moto. Now, one thing I talked about before is he was sending me the 800 XC intake so we could use this intake to get uh, measurements to make the correct intake for this Z Force 800. Now, let me make it clear this intake will bolt on and it will work, but the throttle body would come up here, and I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Throttle body would come up here, so essentially you'd have to run a air filter straight out of the center of your bed. So he's going, I got him some measurements already. I already did that off video. I got him some measurements and he's drawn one up. He's gonna send me another one and we're gonna make sure that fits. But I think, I think we have it nailed this time. So first time's a charm, I hope. And um, he sent me the ECU. So we're going to plug in the ECU. I'm gonna show you guys how to change the ECU because there is gonna be a way to just have this ECU tuned um, soon. And as soon as everything is ready, I will announce where you can get it and how you can get it, which it will be um, at Main Street Cycle. As soon as everything is ready. So please don't bother them, please don't bug them. Follow my channel and um, there's gonna be tunes for all the other machines too, from what I understand. I will let everybody know when everything is ready to go live and be up and running. A lot of you have asked me to show you how to change this ECU. So we're gonna take out mine with the Ray Parker tune on it. We're gonna put this one in and fire it up and just see how it runs. Um, we're not going to run it until we get the, the actual intake for the simple fact I got it clean under there and I don't want to get it dirty again. I don't like working on a dirty engine. So let's come over here to the Z Force and check out what I'm talking about. So you guys can see how the Z Force has the aluminum intake. It actually, the whole thing is actually aluminum, except it has the rubber boots there and a rubber boot down here. So essentially that intake, it brings this throttle body straight up here. It'll come right up here. So I could run it if I wanted to, but um, we're not going to run that one. I took it back off and put this one back on so my machine's ready to run. Um, but yeah, so essentially we have to design it so it comes over, connects into this throttle body here, right here and we'll go into the stock, stock setup. So this will actually work with the stock box when we're said and done with it. Um, another thing is the throttle cable. A lot of things would just have to be uh, moved and it'd be fine for someone that didn't care, but we're trying to make this so it's an easy bolt-on kit, ready to rock and roll and everything. So that's kind of where we're at with that. What do you say we get started on putting that ECU in and seeing uh, what this thing sounds like fired up. So guys, it's kind of tight, but if you stick your hand right up in here, you actually feel the ECU. It is literally right up in here. It's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts and your uh, 10 millimeter wrench is gonna be your best friend. So you're gonna wanna take those two bolts out. Let me get those out and then we'll explain what else. So we get that last bolt out. There is a ground wire on the bolt all the way to the left. Then you're gonna to wanna to pull this ECU out and you're just gonna feel in here and pull the plugs. That's all you gotta do. Pull the plugs. There's the ECU. <laughs> Let's get the new one. Plugs right in. There's two plugs. This is real easy, guys. I promise. 
Now we gotta put that back up there, find our ground wire. There it is. We'll get them bolts put back in there. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Put the ECU in. Trust me, it's really easy. I couldn't get the camera up in there to show you, but if you put your hand up in there, as long as you clean your machine properly, you'll feel that it. it's there. Um, after we fired up, listen to it, I want to talk to you about how much power this ECU and intake is going to give, give us. totally go rip this right now but um yeah like i said it's nasty out there so anyway specs and we are going to dyno this machine in may so we are going to put it on a dyno in may that's the plan so you're gonna not want to miss that but this ecu with the intake it's going to give us 76 horsepower to the crank and 66 to the wheels so that's a big jump uh, remember stock horsepower at the crank is 62 so that's a big jump and then there's other things in the works that I can't talk about so there's other things in the works and I want to say a huge shout out to Main Street Cycle for getting me hooked up with this company so we can work on stuff like this and make stuff like this. There's a lot that goes into this, like a ton. So I have to do some fitment and some testing. And then once we get the intake to properly fit on the Z-Force, this intake was um, tested with the 800XC, which basically the same engine. There's some differences, but basically same, same engine, um, same CC, it's 800. Same head, same pistons, same cams, all that. So all the dyno numbers are going to be the same. I am very happy that I can work with this guy right here and these guys right here. I am so thrilled that I'm able to be a part of what CF Moto is going to become. I, I'm just super ecstatic and super happy. And I know this stuff, trust me guys. I know you guys are just itching to see this thing rip. This thing is nasty. I would, man, you don't know how tempted I am to go rip. I want to thank you guys for being patient and kind of sticking with me along the way here, along the journey. And the more support I have from you guys, the more of this I can make possible. And trust me, there's so much more coming than just this little intake and ECU. There's so much more. This ECU puts down more horsepower and torque numbers than Ray Parker's. Now, Ray Parker's ECU tune is a, is a very good tune. Um, I used it for a couple of years. Nothing wrong with it. But this, this tune here, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just let the video do the talking when time comes. But it's coming. Stick with me, guys. I'd like to get you to share these videos, if you will. Please share them. Please subscribe. Uh, consider becoming a channel member, if you will, and we'll see you in the next one.
You gotta keep watching the video to understand, but I couldn't wait.